Hello and welcome to Straight to the Comments where we read the comment sections of tabloid news articles. Please stay to the end of the video to hear my opinion on this topic and of course let me know your opinion by leaving a comment. Please like and subscribe. Multiple high-powered weapons are seized at YouTube star Jake Paul's $6.9 million Galabasas mansion after heavily armed FBI agents riding in military trucks swarmed the property with a sealed warrant. FBI and law enforcement officers were seen taking several firearms from Jake Paul's Los Angeles home. Aerial footage of the raid showed authorities seizing what appeared to be at least three rifle-style weapons. Multiple FBI units dressed in tactical gear stormed the Calabasas property after executing a search warrant. A SWAT team was also deployed to gain entry into the star's home, sources told the LA Times. Videos from the scene showed heavily armed feds had arrived at the house in armored trucks. A number of U.S. government-marked cars were also spotted on the 23,500 block of Park South Street. Authorities could not comment on the sealed warrant, but said no arrests were planned in the operation. Paul, 23, who rose to fame on Vine before gaining a following on YouTube, had been out of state during the search. Aerial footage of the raid, taken by ABC7, showed law enforcement officers walking out of the sprawling Calabasas mansion with several rifles in hand, before loading them onto police vehicles as apparent evidence. In one shot from the scene, a long-barreled gun was spotted in the backyard resting against the star's hot tub that has been featured in many of his recent YouTube videos. At least 20 federal agents were seen riding in on a procession of military vehicles, including an armored truck, during the operation. Several U.S. government-marked cars were also spotted in the vicinity. Authorities refused to comment on the nature of the raid since the warrant has been sealed by a judge, but confirmed they did not plan to make any arrests in the search. The city of Calabasas said in a social media statement that it was Paul's home that was being raided by the FBI, which was using the city hall parking lot as a staging area. The 23-year-old YouTuber however, had been out of state during the search operation, his attorney Richard Schoenfeld told TMZ. The lawyer said they plan to cooperate with the investigation. Sources told the LA Times a SWAT team had been deployed to gain entry into the viral star's house. The armed units are usually called in during situations that are deemed high risk, such as at properties, where weapons are believed to be present. Agents were reported to have searched the 15,000 square foot home for about an hour and a half. The FBI is executing a federal search warrant at a residence in Calabasas in connection with an ongoing investigation, a bureau spokesperson said. The affidavit in support of the search warrant is sealed and we are, therefore, prohibited from commenting as to the nature of the investigation. Paul rose to fame alongside his brother Logan Paul, 25, on now defunct video app Vine before transitioning to YouTube, where he now has over 20 million subscribers to his channel which features stunts, pranks, stories from his personal life, and more recently music videos. He has been embroiled in a number of controversies in recent years, as well as run-ins with the law, including an incident in Arizona in June, when video footage emerged of him at Mall, while it was being looted. The Scottsdale Police Department identified Paul as a participant in a riot at Scottsdale Fashion Square that had taken place days after the death of George Floyd, on May 30. He was later charged with criminal trespassing and unlawful assembly. Paul later tried to distance himself from the situation in a statement saying he was in no way involved in any looting or vandalism. He posted a video days later saying he and friends went to the mall to attend a protest against George Floyd's death. They instead found people engaged in looting and property damage that included shattered windows of offices and stores, Paul said, adding that he didn't participate in that activity. That's the way it looked on camera. However that isn't the case, he said. Paul said he kept walking in the mall area despite encountering the criminal activity, because he still wanted to find the protest. I'm above that. I don't need to vandalize. 
I don't need to lose, and I know it's not the way forward, he said at the time. Paul also drew backlash last month for blatantly flouting social distancing guidelines as COVID-19 cases spiked in California by throwing a massive party at the mansion. Calabasas Mayor Alicia Weintraub expressed outrage over the outrageous gathering in which dozens of people without masks drank and danced. Paul later indicated to Insider last week that he would continue to do what he wants. The best rated comments. Looks like Jake is in deep trouble. The feds don't roll up with an army and a search warrant because of social distancing. I can't stand this guy's smug face. My money is on something to do with drugs and or underage girls. Likely the latter. Sealed means they are taking all hardware so that's where my assumption of the latter stems from. This guy's one of the so-called celebrities and his hanger-ons that think they're above the law. They don't care about other people, they think they're special. I'm guessing the following charges are about to be filed, CHLDPRN, illegal Weapons, DRGS, and SX Abuse. What a waste of space. Honestly the mom who raised these two did a crappy job. I can see, having one bad kid but two. Something went wrong. Paul brothers were recording smashing windows, and breaking into a mall, and stealing clothing during the riots, when the person recording them called them out by their names, they started screaming to leave them alone. I bet it's, not just the party, but a laundry list of things for them that's accumulated to this point. Underage girls kind of come to mind. I can't wait to see what this video vagabond has been up to. Feds don't do raids over social distancing. Well that brightens my day. Anything that makes life harder for that megalomaniac little monster is definitely a good thing. He and all his idiot friends are the worst possible role models for their millions of young fans, and I look forward to their future irrelevance. One word, underage. If you knowingly put people and the population in danger, you should be thrown in jail. Let him get covered there, and see how his doings could have affected others. The FBI doesn't roll up on someone like that, unless they're doing a major investigation. He may not have been arrested today but it's coming. How is this dude even famous, or make any money? He is trash inside and outside. He lost any decent looks he had from obviously doing illegal substances and he and his brother have the most arrogant CR app personalities. I hate cancel culture but cancel them. Isn't he the same guy who went to Japan and filmed a corpse hanging in the forbidden forest and scared a bunch of kids who follow him? I have a feeling this will relate to inappropriate stuff on his computer. X only reason to seal a warrant. When warrants are sealed it's not going to go well for the punk. In fact right about now is when he realizes this isn't going away either. See ya punk. Both brothers are complete d-bags. I don't think lack of social distancing was his only crime based on the amount of resources rolling up on him. Douche. How do these lowlifes even become famous? Never even heard of him. It seems more evidence of how talentless and vapid society has become that young people would make a big deal about people like this. Lol. But, lock up this idiot. The worst rated comments. Doesn't the FBI have anything better to do? They didn't even find anything. How about they investigate? Trump there's a lot to find there. And Jake Paul is an epic D0. Asterisk shit. This was totally predictable after his making several pro-Trump comments. Ridiculous cackoffs playing soldier man. Defend and abolish the toy soldiers. Any excuse for the popo to play with their toys. WTH is with the police. They all like to play army. Wowie I get to dress up and play soldier and ride on a really big truck. I can picture these clowns taking selfies. 
Whatever he did, a massive overreaction by police. They are not men enough to take down a few young people. Cowards become cops. Dude we are rooting for you. Hope you made extra copies of whatever incriminating evidence you got on them. If only more people would be willing to stop wearing masks and flaunt it this bravely. Then this ridiculous period of dress up would end. 1984. Trump a Republican Party president has sent unmarked armed feds to cities around the country. Now he has sent unmarked feds to this chair KS house to take his guns. After years of hearing the Dems are going to come for your guns who ends up coming for your guns, lol fools. This is just the beginning. Imagine what he will do if he wins a second term. Americans love to turn up with excessive force and lots of guns, even if the culprit is an old woman without a dog license. Funny culture they have around law and order. OMG feds lose the tack gear. You can do this with six men in shorts not 30 and armored vehicles. At what costs? It was prob the wrong address anyway. Ever notice how law enforcement officers have transformed their looks and manners into a that of the military? I guess these public servants perceive the citizenry at large in this county as militaristic foes. They wasted all those resources on a child internet star. Big tough guys aren't they? America's priorities are really messed up. What a waste of resources. Imagine the amount of low-level drug dealers who they could have focused on, but they'd rather make an example of some child who doesn't know his ass from his elbow. Look at how many men they used for this operation. I'm sure loads of right-wing people are delighted about this, and just ignoring the fact that their hard-earned cash is wasted on fools like this. The US has lost all credibility. Stupid raid so dumb. Heavily armed people hanging outside vehicles are hilarious. If they can't afford cars for everyone they should call Uber. If any of them harm himself taxpayers will pay him for life. LOL get feebed. Ours are illegal in California. Let's see if he pays any time in jail or gets off because of his white privilege. Unless he's accused of gun running, or had been credibly accused of being armed and dangerous, why ask what team dressed like soldiers in military vehicles involved? The militarization of law enforcement is just one reason people are afraid of the police. When police dress and act as if they are at war, that affects their attitudes towards the people that they are charged with serving and protecting not at war with. So the man is white. I get it. Yo. Looks like the raid on Roger Stone's house, but he is an old man without weapons, or being high risk. A misleading headline, with no fact or even mention in the cut and paste article with more pictures that words this is journalism now, sad really. You're allowed multiple firearms in your home though. Ha. Huh. The most recent comments. How on earth do these people earn so much money? People who save lives earn pennies and they earn millions. There's something very very wrong with our society. Anything about the bigger FBI raids on Ukrainian owned offices yesterday? Jake Paul is wanted on federal charges of felonious debaggery. The Pauls are disgusting examples of human beings. They don't deserve the opulence they've acquired. Kids are stupid for supporting these losers. Can't wait for the movie of his downfall. Isn't Jake Paul a part of Antifa? I think he is. Wow. That's a lot of agents. Was Roger Stone in the neighborhood? Are they mad that they didn't get invited to his last party? More soberly unless there were an awful lot of guns and explosives involved, or a lot of dangerous people would not the time of 90% of these folks be better spent on other things? And would not knocking on the door make more sense? I just hope this isn't about masks and social distancing. Yeah. Send the whole army to arrest that doucher bag. It's sick that people like this are so rich. Stop trying to be a gangster. You're not. 
what goes up. I wonder if it has to do with their dad. He is a major creep. I wonder if he was selling them. Dean Martin's son Dino was raided after they discovered he was selling massive weapons, but Sinatra paid his way out of it. All the information that DM had for this story is an empty box. What an idiot. If he knew he had all that illegal activity going on, why was he having covidiot parties flouting his nose at the authorities? They are only going to let a person debase them for so long. Clinton's friend, say no more. Lock him up. Scared he was going to be robbed. You boob, tube. This guy, does he pass out shots and guns at his parties? So if he doesn't go to jail, he did dasnich move. UMM it's called the second amendment. These so called influencers need an end to them. Have you noticed that since Trump has been president how many pedos have been arrested? He's talked about it many times, an ancient cabal. Can you influence from a prison cell lol? Could there be a bigger douchebag? Does he base his entire aesthetic on teenage mass shooters? Wait, isn't this the guy, that isn't he gun? He got into a feud with Catelyn something, and labeled her gun girl. That concludes the video thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. Personally, I think the sealed warrant makes everyone think the same thing but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Please like and subscribe for at least 4 videos a week.